Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to talk about ball layouts for two-handed bowlers, especially for myself. Let's take a look at some of my layouts and what I've been experiencing and what I'm going to experiment with. All right, I'm gonna show you guys six different bowling balls and we're gonna talk about the layouts and we'll tell you what I've been kind of struggling with. But first, let's start with the Night Road. Uh, so with this layout, it's just a neutral layout something that I usually get uh, copied whenever I'm doing a matchmaker. So if I throw it during matchmaker and it looks good, I usually get the same layout. So with this one right here, this is where my thumb placement would be. I am tracking between the fingers and my thumb. So what that looks like is something like this. And when you have this type of track that goes across your fingers and your thumb, uh, you are considered a full roller. So, I tried this other layout where it's a more traditional two-handed layout. Uh, this is on my Storm DNA. Same thing, you can even still see the track. I am still tracking across my finger holes right here and between my thumb as well. So once again, another full roller. Um, so I talked to my pro shop operator and we decided to do a full roller layout and flip the core and switch it. Unfortunately, even with flipping the core, I am still tracking between my finger and my thumbs. So it doesn't really matter if it's this neutral layout or this two-hander layout or even flipping the core, I'm still getting the same reaction. Now, we did an experiment with my bowling coach a couple days ago where I threw his bowling balls and um, we took a look at his layout and where I was tracking. So, uh, this is a run split knockout. I've never had one before, but um, this is a symmetric ball. And what I noticed with the symmetric ball when I was throwing his layout was I was tracking above my finger holes. Now the pin placement on his was up here, so I'm not sure how it will throw a hole with the pin down here. Maybe I might go just slightly this way a little bit, um, but when the pin placement was up here on a symmetric ball, I was tracking like this. Uh, next we got two asymmetric balls, uh, and this is the same uh, pin placement that he has on his. Now, what I noticed is when I was throwing his, I was tracking this way. So here we have a Brunswick Defender, and then we have a Hammer Obsession Tour. So I haven't thrown either these, one of these three balls yet. I just got them today, um, but I will test them out tomorrow and see if the track is good and uh, give you guys an update once I do that. But this is what my layouts look like for my bowling balls. Um, if these are working, I most likely will start getting my bowling balls drilled similar to something like this. Uh, so I can track outside of my fingers and my thumbs. So I won't be considered a full roller anymore. Also, um, as my form gets better, I should slowly be able to get out of that. And then with these uh, traditional layouts like this neutral one or even this two-hander, should be able to track out here a little bit better once my form gets better. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys uh, what the different layouts I have for my bowling balls and the experiment that I'm trying. Um, but I'll be posting some short videos of these three pretty soon and hopefully we'll have the track out here and get some really good ball reaction. Also shout out to my pro shop operator Josh for fixing my Belmo spare ball. We had a lot of cracking around the fingers really really bad but he did a really good job and he also shined it up to where it looks like it's brand new so we actually had it stacked up against a new bell spare ball and it they look exactly the same but this thing is a beauty 
So thank you, Josh, for fixing this. Um, now I can start throwing straight spares again instead of using my TNT and throwing curved spares. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions about bowling ball layouts for two-handers, especially if you're tracking like I am, doing the full roller stuff, uh, reach out to me and send me a message. Uh, other than that, I'll catch you guys on the next video. See ya.